Hello, it's Rachel from Central Texas Zone 8B, and I, it's been a while since I've worked in my own backyard, um, and I have uh, some plants to plant. Um, so I went to the garden store because the weather has been so much nicer, and um, I feel like trying here again versus just, you know, barely keeping things alive. Um, and I got a lot of plants on uh, sale as well as some tiny uh, plants for inexpensive. Um, first off, I got this um, two gallon uh, um, hibiscus. It's called Head Over Heels Dream. It's, um, it was like half off. Um, I got a um, butterfly bush over there and a white lantana. And I have this crinum lily. I'm crinum lily, sorry, this crinum lily. I'm not, sh I don't remember which variety this is. It's a bulb I picked up in the fall last year. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in the ground. Um, I have a couple of the blue plumbago. I'm gonna stick in the ground as well because I already have one over here. So I thought it'd be cool to have a kind of little swoop of them. Um, and then I picked up the um, double doozy uh, spirea from Proven Winners. It was at the Lowe's and it was in bloom and I just couldn't pass it up. Um, I'm not really tried a spirea before. Uh, actually, I'm sorry. I do, I have a, um, two spireas uh, out at the property garden. Um, they do really well, um, but I've never tried like uh, a little spirea like this and uh, with the kind of more dense, it, it looks a little more dense than the ones I've had and stuff more kind of like a dwarf variety. It gets two to three feet tall and wide. Um, say for this hibiscus over here, the butterfly bush wasn't labeled, so I don't know how big that gets. So that's kind of a little bit of a, um, that's an up in the air thing. So, um, but this area, does get hit by the sprinklers a little bit, um, but mostly it needs to, most of the stuff needs to be pretty um, hardy. Um, and I've also been having issues with drainage because our yard slopes quite a bit right here, um, which is why I kind of decided to come in and plant some more things right here because I was having a lot of issues with soil erosion. Um, so I decided to plant some things here to kind of get it to slow down the water and um, probably put some little stones around stuff to help um, keep the soil in place and that there won't be too much more erosion. Sorry, the AC just kicked on. I also have a couple of lemongrass I placed at the back. Um, I picked those up at the grocery store HEB a long time ago and then, and then uh, I bought them on a whim. They were about um, five dollars each and it was kind of a too good of a deal to pass up and I like uh, lemongrass a lot and thought it'd be fun to have around the house. Um, but then I didn't know where to put them, so I'm just going to stick them in here for now. And then I also have a canna lily that I'm going to be placing in the ground. I don't know what variety it was because that was the one that um, the store had sent me the wrong variety or the Cleopatra variety. And then when the leaves came up, I could tell it wasn't the Cleopatra variety. It still has not bloomed, so I don't know what it is. <laughs> Anyhow, so this is um, pretty much what it's going to be. Uh, or what I'm planting in this area. So I'm gonna get started probably later in the day um, because my kids are home right now. Um, so um, yeah, when I get some free time later, I will be out here in the hot sun planting stuff. <laughs>
So here's the finished product. I uh, can't wait for this to grow in. I definitely like looking over in this direction and seeing a lot more uh, fullness and color. I'm going to put a few stones around some of the plants just to kind of help with um, uh, water uh, erosion issues. Um, and then certain of the plants I did plant up an uh, inch or two um, due to uh, this being heavy clay. Um, it's heavy clay, it doesn't drain well. Um, I don't want plants to get bogged down and stuff, uh, drown. So I planted uh, stuff an inch or two up, um, put in uh, a couple handfuls of compost to each, um, each planting hole, as well as a handful of organic slow release fertilizer. So that's what things are looking like now. Um, again, I'm quite pleased with it, um, and things will hopefully still fill in, uh, next year. So, anyhow, okay. See y'all in the next video. Bye!